You know, I, I saw that Max Pack secretly has a pretty sick winning streak going on in the NA Cup. He won he won five in a row. And his finals opponents were like Hero, Hero, Solar, Sue, and I don't know who the fifth one was, but actually pretty sick. Like Max Pack is actually the goat of the NA Cup. Like, it's insane. Playing at 5 a.m. Most games on the West. I don't know how he does it. It's actually crazy. I also saw that he's on like a 10 series winning streak against Bjorn, which is also crazy to me. Max packs to an offline event, guys. We still need to make it happen. Max packs to the Esports World Cup. Playing at 5 a.m. isn't a problem. I mean, it's... Well, like, he plays the, the EU Cup, right? And I imagine he wakes up a little while before the EU Cup. So he... I mean, if he's, like, a huge waste man, he wakes up at 5 p.m., right? Which I doubt, to be honest. But he wakes up at 5 p.m., plays the entire ESL Cup because he always makes it to the final, and then plays the entire ESL and A Cup, which in total, including the break, is going to be, like, 12 hours of playing an ESL Cup. Like, isn't that freaking brutal? And that's if he's a big waste man. He, sh he strikes me as someone who wakes up at noon. To be honest, he's like a—he strikes me as like a three, four a.m. sleeping until noon kind of guy. Star Starcraft 2 is really hard to play on ping, I think. Like I know uh, there's a decent amount of people that think out of all the games, Starcraft 2 doesn't matter that much because it's like strategy and whatnot. But I uh, like for me, and I know for a lot of players, it's it's just terrible. It feels so bad. Like if if you guys remember how I would pl how I would play TVZ when I was still really good, right? I would play this like super active play style where I'm always dropping and rallying my marines and mines across the map, and that that is just it's like impossible to do when you're playing on ping. Like I always felt like I got robbed having to play Korean Zergs on the West in TVZ because they would just chill there making their queens and shit, you know, having the time of their life, and I'd be. <laughs> struggling for my life to be able to attack like it's it's, it's insane yeah it's I, I heard about that for zerg y you know what happens to terran that's really annoying is like let's say you're playing heli and banshee right if you're playing heli and banshee against zerg the hard part of that normally is that you have to macro well microing helians and banshees but when you're on ping every single time you switch an add-on you need to wait for the building to lift so it's like every single macro action you do, it keeps adding like half a second or whatever. It's so annoying. Like you you can't really play stuff like Heli and Banshee because it's just you can't you can't macro well enough while harassing. Like it's just so freaking annoying, dude. Let me tell you. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. We take those. I, I want to play some mech. I, I really want to play something relaxed today. He's doing his best. Yeah, I know. Sorry. So it's the map. Yeah, it's, it's the map's fault. <laughs> I just feel like those Zerglings are often the only thing Zerg makes early on. So it feels bad throwing them away. Oh, that's an Overlord. I don't even really mind being scouted here, to be honest. Let's see. Can I make the Fusion Core before the Marine? Probably. I am skipping SEVs, which makes me feel a little bit like a baboon, to be honest. But. <laughs> oh, a one one one. That's crazy. <laughs> well, he saw there was no tech left, to be honest. So that's that's one thing. He's probably gonna think it's a Viking or a Liberator now. Ah. I did the same thing he did. Now I can't make fun of him anymore. <laughs> this is the Pilter build, by the way. Actually, this map is not that great for this build because the the third base is facing forward. I guess. Let's see, I think I've made enough Hellions. Can't wall this off yet. Wait, can I hit that? Probably not. Not gonna bother. Too lazy. Gotta take it easy here, you know. I do feel kind of bad for the um, for the Protoss players struggling with the add-ons, like with the with the Cyclones, and you can't even really tell Ravens apart anymore because Ravens are also researching um, researching uh, interference matrix, right? It's actually kind of annoying. Oh, wait, I don't need these gases yet. Should have made my battle cruiser first. This is doing too much damage. I guess Pilter knew what he was doing. Oh, 
just not paying attention. Pain. Wait, is that drones? Where did these drones come from? Didn't I just kill every single drone here? <laughs> I'm actually, uh, okay. I guess he just had a lot on his natural or something. Yeah, where did these come from, bro? I swear, this must be pretty confusing to watch as a Zerg player, like the last game too, because I, I kill like all the drones and every time I come back, the drones are back. <laughs> like in both games I played. First the PvZ and now this one. Okay, I'm going to get Yamato. What if I adapt my challenge setup to an actual game? If, if you guys have watched my challenges before, you know I always like doing the five command center setup. Because I'm typically not... That's a lot of Zerglings, my friend. I'm typically not allowed to make a lot of units. So I need planetaries to defend. Uh, I feel like on this map, if I'm going to play mech, I'll just be afraid that I'm going to die. So maybe I should actually just go for, like, double planetary. Or triple. No, double should do the trick, I think. Okay. Ten internet points, he has no spore. Yep. I know my Zergs, guys. A Zerg that makes that many drones? Ah, there's no way. There's gonna... <laughs> there's not gonna be a spore. Oh, man. I feel bad for these guys. Losing so many freaking drones. What if this is the same guy as the Protoss game? Then I feel even worse. Wait, do you guys remember that patch where the battle cruisers would auto target drones? Wasn't that a thing for a little bit? Those are some good days. I don't even remember what the patch was that changed it. Yeah, that was great, right? H high APM harassment. Dude, okay, now he actually he has so little drones for a Zerg player now. It's actually starting to get uh, a little crazy. Dude, how many links did he build actually? So many freaking Zerglings now. It's also very brave for taking this fight, I have to say. Oh, stop dying, please. Actually, I think it was killing a queen without me looking. Fine, I'll make some... No, no, I want to make another command center. 5cc setup, baby. I do think this Zerg is mentally very strong for being in this game still. Like, I feel like losing that many drones, I would have rage quit ages ago if I was the Zerg. We're arguing with Insane about it. I said it was fine. <laughs> I mean, I I guess it's not that hard to target the drones anyway, but it is it is pretty dumb, right? It is pretty freaking dumb. Yeah, no, this is this is genius. Trust me. Do need some more factories though. This is the five command center setup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. He doesn't even have gases. Is, is he still literally just making drones? He had like one one little spurt of zerglings and now he's back to making freaking drones only. I think I can make another command center. I do need to make turrets at some point, but judging by his lack of gases, that point is probably not soon. Here, planetary number one. He's making hydras as well. No. I I always get dude, my upgrades are insane. I always get a little sad when Zergs make hydras against BCs. Like they're 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 so bad. Like, they're actually just so freaking bad. It's insane. Like, obviously, if you if you have, like, a good macro game or whatever, you can make too many Hydras and overwhelm me, but generally speaking... He does have so many freaking queens, by the way. They're, they're so bad against BCs. Okay, he, he doesn't have anything. He's just making Hydras. I don't believe in the Hydra enough. Here we go. Yamato, the big boy over there. Do hope he didn't secretly make Zerglings without me spotting. Oh, no, the Hydras are coming, guys. The Hydras are going to mess me up. <laughs> Look how fast they die. Oh my god, they suck. <laughs> Actually, it just evaporated instantly. It's probably sending all of his queens over, which means I can go to his freaking fourth base soon. Oh no, it's Hydras, guys. They're they're terrifying. The Hydras are going to get the job done here for sure. <laughs> yeah, not the two Hydras. Oh no. No, but like seriously, it's, it's not even about him not having enough Hydras. They also just suck against BCs, I think. Like, you, you literally need to make the upgrade for them so they can fight BCs, because otherwise you can you can kite them. Like, their range is not big enough. Okay, th this is starting to get a little painful, guys. This guy actually has the freaking mental fortitude of a titan. Or did he go AFK at this point? Doesn't look like he's moving the queens anymore. Did he give up? No, he's still... Oh, my. This guy actually freaking gold. This guy needs to be studied for his mental fortitude. Making a spore as well. Wow. Yo, this guy's kind of badass, low-key. Probably just kill that with my Yamatos. Adios. Lost his lair. I, I, I do wonder what I need to do to get this guy out of the game, you know? Like, how far do I have to go to, to break this guy? He's gonna lose more Hydras? Oh my god. Yes, 
<laughs> oh no, he's gonna do some damage. I see Zerklings. I don't know when he snuck those out, but he did. Good thing I have a pretty decent sized mech army already. This dies to the Zerklings I'm uninstalling. Okay, thank goodness. Didn't want to end the stream that early. But I think he's gonna lose the Queens too. I think he's moving across the map, isn't he? Upgrade. I think he is actually moving across the map. Am I gonna lose a BC to this? Oh, that's the wrong one. Maybe I will. Get back home. Please don't die. Thank you. What do you guys think my units lost this game is? I, I, I legit feel like I haven't lost anything. I know I have lost some stuff, but... The laser on the ladder, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, what am I doing? I shouldn't be torturing him this hard. I, sh I should be giving him the most fun game of his life so he keeps Zerg players on the ladder. That's a good point. Am I smurfing? This is, this is my streaming account. I always play here. He, he is significantly lower than being MMR though. I think it was 5k. And I'm 5.6. Is he... He's still here. He's... Wait, he's going full Mia Mica on me. He's just massing on Hydras. He's planning to go for one big A move. Dude, if I had Blue Flame here, this would be so freaking juicy. Sadly, I... Uh, he's a great army for fighting Bio. I... I don't think he has a great army to fight anything. The Cyclones. Okay, his, his army's probably pretty decent at fighting Cyclones. I'll, I'll give him that. I, I, I could see that happen. I feel like I can almost kill him with just my Hellions. Wait, do you think I can? N no tanks. The battlecruisers and just the Hellions. This is gonna be this is gonna be nice. Oh, oh, but I barely needed the battlecruisers to be honest. <laughs> GG is called. Poor guy. Poor, poor, poor guy. Oh my god. Look at the units lost. <laughs> Two point nine against thirteen k. I can. I only got forty seven workers. I guess it was really just like Hydras and Queens and stuff I killed. The Battlecruisers don't even... Okay, this one has 38 kills. The Battlecruisers have like 60 kills and it's mostly Hydras and Queens. And it was actually disgusting. 